What's with the mutt? The fat one asked. I learned at a very early age that the word mutt was not good. When I hear that word, it's often from someone who doesn't like dogs. That's not just any dog, Chuck said. That's Chumley P. Movie. He's a very famous stage dog. Is that part of his Stanislavski acting technique? The tall one asked, pointing his bony finger in my direction. The conversation paused to the sound of me licking my balls. I always lick my balls when I'm nervous. He's strictly a method actor, that fella, you know, like Brando. What can you tell me about a car accident on ramp 65 off San Fernando Highway at 5 a.m. this morning? The tall one asked. Mm, no clue, Chuck said sheepishly. Can you be a bit more specific? The fat one pulled a phone from his inside pocket and tapped and swiped until he found what he was looking for. He pointed smugly at the screen. Is this specific enough? The fat one asked. This was live streamed on Facebook at 5 a.m. this morning. The sound of five liters of Detroit rage was upstaged by Chuck's wild howls. Whoa, <laughs> folks. I'm here with my good buddy and co-pilot Chumley P. Movie, star of Hair of the Dog and... I barked unintentionally at the mention of my old TV show. It was an automatic response, muscle memory. The main actor in Hair of the Dog used to say the line, I think I need a Hair of the Dog. And I was supposed to bark twice. And when I barked, I got a nice treat. I never missed my cue. They were great treats. Chuck grinned like a madman. The plan was we'd hit a ramp, an explosive device under the car would cause us to flip twice, and we'd land on the four wheels and race into the sunrise and stop for ice cream on the way home. We hit the ramp, flipped, nosedived, and somersaulted a few times. Somersaulting the car was not in the plan. Flipping, yes. Somersaulting, no. And no ice cream.